हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल वन सेकेंड सो मैच नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन बिटवीन द टेबल टॉपर्स गुजरात टाइटन्स एंड द लखनऊ सुपर जॉय सो हार्डिक पांड्या कॉल इट राइट इन द टॉस एंड ही डिसाइडेड टू बैट फर्स्ट कंसिडरिंग द फैक्ट दैट विकेट्स आर स्लोइंग डाउन इन द एम सी ए स्टेडियम इन पुणे सो द ओपनर्स रिधिमन साहा एंड शुमन गिल केम आउट फॉर द गुजरात टाइटन्स but yes rudiman saha did not last long and he went out and even matthew way was also dismissed within the power take itself and suddenly their skipper also could not contribute much to the team's total and gujarat titans were suddenly reduced to 51 for 3 in the 10th over of their innings after that it was shubman gill who held anchor and along with him david miller tried to play some strokes and they scored a brilliant 52 run partnership which helped a rebuild of the gujarat titans innings and some late hitting from rahul tewatia ensured that gujarat titans go to a respectable but a below par total of 144 runs for the loss of four wickets at the end of 20 overs Their top scorer was the opener Shubman Gill scoring a brilliant knock of 63 runs in a difficult pitch which was getting slower and lower as the game progressed. So chasing a modest total of 145 runs, Lucknow Super Giants started off pretty cautiously. Their openers Quinton De Kock and Kale Rahul started very safely and they wanted to carry on this run chase till the end of the 20th over but then some brilliant bowling from the lsg bowlers gave them crucial breakthroughs and within the power play itself lucknow super giants were reduced to 33 for 3 after that deepak kuda held anchor at one end but then the gujarat titans bowlers were really superb with rashid khan picking up four wickets and he was the chief destructor on that slow turning wicket at the ms mca stadium in pune and so eventually lucknow super giants could manage to score only 82 runs in 13.3 overs and eventually gujarat titans winning this game by 62 runs rashid khan took four wickets for them Sai Kishore and Yash Dayal took a couple of wickets apiece and then Mohammad Shami took one wicket for the Gujarat Titans. Let's take a look at the score card. And so for the man of the match, Shubman Gill was declared the man of the match for his awesome knock of 49 ball, 63 runs studded with seven boundaries in that difficult batting pitch. And with this win Gujarat Titans officially becomes the first team to qualify for the playoffs in this Tata IPL 2022. They still have two more games to go and with 18 points on the team's points table. So that's it from today and so we have some interesting games lined up as we head on to the final stages of this Tata IPL 2022. Stay tuned to my channel and do not forget to subscribe if you are watching this for the first time. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching.